Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Dr. Lisa Thompson on the line, and she's the owner of the uh, over at the Back Body Mind Chiropractic. Uh, Lisa, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So first, uh, I'm really excited today to talk about the new book. So first, congratulations for um, your entry and for being accepted into Money Matters Business Leaders Edition Volume 2. I'm really excited about your chapter, uh, Manage Your Energy, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So first, congrats. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited it's out there now. So um, one of the things that really struck me um, and what I, where, where I thought you'd be an amazing addition to this book was just your background in chiropractic and sports and how you've been able to help so many people. So when you submitted um, Manage Your Energy as a, as a topic, I'm like, big, big, big deal here. Um, lots of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives listen to this show. And uh, one of the big things we all struggle with is stress. We struggle with uh, a lot a lot of people, you know, we, we work hard and sometimes we don't take care of each other or ourselves mm-hmm. enough. And that's a big deal. Um, so first, what's the, what was the inspiration for Manager Energy? Let's start there. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm a chiropractor. I'm a practicing chiropractor. And I see patients all the time, especially business professionals who come in with whether it's pain or just they're not sleeping well or whatever it is, and it absolutely affects their performance, not only at work, but their home lives, and it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, it, it, it's not easy to make some changes all the time, but it doesn't have to be the high stress, the pain, all these all these issues, so there's my chapter, my inspiration for the chapter is to just help those people that need to make those changes so they can live happier, healthier lives. So, and it's, and it's all about managing that energy. And it, again, it translates not just to work, but your home life too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And uh, and spoiler alert for everyone listening. So this is a special episode. We're talking about the book. We're talking about the chapter. But we are going to definitely spoiler it. It's going to happen. I still want you to go out and buy the book, of course. That's great. We sell books. But I'm more interested in having you get the information. So, Lisa, tell us, tell us a little bit more about this case study that you gave us in the chapter about um, Matt and some of the ways that he was able to benefit and how you were able to help him. Yeah, so Matt was one of my patients for a long time. I treat mainly athletes at my office, and he was one of my my top performer athletes. And then after he stopped playing sports, he started his own business, and he was just, I could see him coming in and just so stressed, and I knew he wasn't sleeping well. And it's surprising to me how many people aren't getting enough sleep and eating right and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we he came in and came. And we were able to help him quite a bit get out of pain, but then additionally help him make some lifestyle changes to not only help prevent pain from coming back, but just to take care of himself so he was in a much, much better place physically, mentally, emotionally, and he was thriving after that. So it was it was awesome to see the difference that um, some of those changes made in his life. And I I want as many people as possible to have that same experience and be able to really, really live to their full potential. That's awesome. And I I, I told you after I read your chapter, I'm like, I remember sending you a message and I'm like, oh, you got me, Lisa. You you made me step back and reassess my own personal situation and some of the bad habits I'd gotten into and I'm like, oh, she got me. Uh, that's one of the, one of the fun of me, one of the fun parts of me, uh, putting together these books is that I, uh, I learn number one, but then even sometimes you know some things that you know that you should be doing, but, um, you're not doing them and because of that, that adds up and, uh, and you pay the price and your body pays the price long term. 
Um, and I guess that would be a great transition into some of these things uh, that you wrote in your chapter that I, w- I was personally not doing correctly. So let's talk about that diet section that you wrote about in the, in the chapter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so diet's one of the, obviously, one of the really big things that can make a huge difference in, in our energy and how we feel. And it's overlooked a surprising amount of times. And a lot of people, I think, don't understand what is healthy and what's not healthy. And and there's so many different fad diets out there and so many different, you just go online and find advice from every different area um, as far as diet goes. So, yeah, diet is incredibly important. Um, and when I say diet, I, I don't just mean the food we eat. I mean what we're drinking also, I think. Uh, alcohol can have to be included in that. That's another another big one that I I see far too much of as a way to manage stress. Um, but the better we eat, the better we feel. The cleaner we eat, the better we feel. The better our sleep is, and the better we're able to focus on what we have to do. And again, it's all about it's all about managing that energy. So that is huge. I'll tell you, um, that, that tip number two you gave under the diet section about drinking plenty of water, I'm like, oh, as soon as I read that, I'm like, how much water have I drank today? Oh, you yeah, drank three, <laughs> you drank three cups of water and you, uh, and you haven't, or excuse me, three cups of coffee and you haven't drank any water yet, Adam. Uh, <laughs> so, and, and it's, and it's noon. Your body probably doesn't like that. You're probably not doing what you need to be doing. Um, another big, uh, one that you gave in there was, um, sugar and avoiding mm-hmm. and, or, or understanding sugars. Can you comment a little bit more about that? Just because I think that's a big one that sometimes doesn't get brought up enough. Oh, yeah, sugar is huge. I mean, sugar should be classified as a drug in life, and it's it's mm. more addicting than cocaine, and it absolutely destroys our bodies, but it destroys our bodies slowly. So it's not, for some reason, seen as terrible as some drugs are because you can't see the effects as quickly. Mm-hmm. But sugar, sugar is very bad for us, and it's in everything now, and it's in everything because it's so addicting, and the food companies want us to keep buying their food, so that's a, it is a very slow killer, but it is terrible for us. So really limiting sugar, especially sugary drinks, even juice, apple juice is not not good for us. So sugar is the number one. And again, it's super addicting, so it's very hard to stop if you have a sweet tooth. So oh, my God. Uh, one of my big ones. <laughs> This one, I, I died laughing when I said this because you took me back to childhood. Avoid foods with ingredients that are difficult to pronounce. I remember being a kid, like reading the things and priding myself on being able to pronounce the long words <laughs> and trying to practice a maldextro. Blah, blah. I'm like, <laughs> like that. I remember looking at the labels and thinking it was cool. I read this. You took me right back. And now it's the complete opposite. I mean, tell us a little bit more about that and what we should be looking for on our labels. Yeah, I mean, just avoiding processed foods as much as possible, avoiding things high in sugar. We want food, as far as labels go, we want labels that do have words that we can pronounce and things that we know what they are and preferably only a couple ingredients. Um, There's so much added stuff into our foods that's just our our diet, our terrible uh, for the most part. The food industry is just, drug dealers it's terrible so yeah eating clean can change your life (laughs) even making little differences can change your life and I tell people too if they're trying to change their diet I mean there's a lot of uh, good books out there on what's good what's not Um, the book um, oh my gosh what's it called Dr. Mark Hyman's what to eat something I think that's what it's called Mm -hmm. why we eat is uh, delicious or delicious (laughs) thinking about food now it's very yeah. very good <laughs> um he he just goes into the details about what foods are good what's not and all the different lies out there as far as what we're brought up to know and what we're told as far as food there's so many misconceptions out there so it's important to know what is good what's not good all that stuff and yeah that's uh, fantastic so, 
yeah, and as far as the changes go, a lot of times I recommend just instead of taking stuff out right away, try adding stuff. So maybe mm. a vegetable that you don't typically have, or just try different vegetables and find stuff that you like, and then as you add stuff, then you can slowly take the other stuff out so it's an easier transition. That's awesome. Um, so let's let's uh, end this by talking a little bit more about your practice, where you're located, the kind of the kind of patients you treat, because um, your your chapter manager energy. I mean, amazing chapter, um, definitely um, a great addition to the business leaders volume two uh, money matters book. Um, let's get a little bit more into your business and the kind of and the kind of clients you treat, please. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I love what I do. I have a practice in Santa Fe Springs, California, which is just outside of Whittier. And I have, I treat pretty much all demographics, but I have a focus in sports performance. So in my office, there's a big open bay area, and I have a net set up so I can watch my, my baseball players swing a bat. I can watch my tennis players hit tennis balls, and I can uh, look at their biomechanics, see what their body is doing. A lot of what I do with sports performance is making sure the body can physically do the important parts of the swing. If somebody's We'll use golf, for example. If somebody's told, oh, you need to rotate more, you need to uh, rotate your hips more, but if their body can't physically do it, they're either going to get hurt or their performance is just going to go down. So a lot of what I do, a lot of the extra classes I've taken, and TPI, on day two, racket fit, it's all making sure the body can physically do the important parts of the swing. And not only does it help reduce injury, but it increases performance and it's so much fun. That's awesome. Um, yeah. And uh, and and for anybody listening to this, definitely go check out Lisa's Instagram. I don't remember the handle off the top. What's your Instagram? Because because you can see all this stuff. I always watch it, and I'm like I'm like, oh man, what is what's she doing today? Like with this, and you can see her treating the athletes she works with. What's your Instagram handle again, Lisa? It's Dr. Lisa Thompson, and there's no P in Thompson. So Dr. Lisa Thompson without a P, T H O M S O N. Fantastic. Uh, and if somebody wants more information um, on your practice or to connect with you, what's the best way for them to reach out? Yeah, so my website is www.backbodymind.com, and you're, everybody's always welcome to email me. I, I love answering questions and getting involved. So my email address is info, I-N-F-O, at backbodymind.com. Fantastic. Um, well, hey, uh, Lisa, really appreciate you coming on the show today and also your awesome contribution to the Business Leaders Edition Volume 2, Manager Energy. I learned a lot. I know the readers of the book um, are going to learn a lot from it, so really appreciate you sharing your um, insight and many years of uh, expertise to create that work. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review, do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And Lisa, thanks again for coming on the show and your contribution to the book.